question number 45 which of the following statement is correct okay we'll look into one uh, one statement at a time and we'll see the details of it okay first we'll see statement number a in semiconductors electrons and holes move in an electric field and in the same direction what he's saying is electrons and holes will move in the same direction and they'll move they are in the same direction of electric field is saying first of all everybody will say that even a small kid can answer this electrons and holes definitely by looking into it you can say they are in the opposite directions so definitely this is a wrong choice just i would like to tell the extension of this first point look at the into the solution so what i mean to say is there are two types of conductions possible two types of uh, currents possible one is diffusion current one is drift current so if this is p type material and n type material suppose this is a junction so what is first i'll explain what is this uh, diffusion diffusion is like uh, diffusion of diffusion is like moment of moment from high con area region to low area region or high concentration region to low concentration region see here holes are majority holes are maximum maximum number of holes are there here here maximum number of electrons are present here so holes will travel like this electrons will travel like this so electron drift current electron diffusion current will be in this direction and holes diffusion current will be in this direction simple way to explain fine then exactly reverse of this will take place for drift current you can look at this first figure you can see hole diffusion is taking place from p to n whereas electron diffusion is taking from n to p the reverse operation takes place electron drift will take place from p to n it's a reverse operation please remember and hole drift will take place from n to p diffusion will be uh, normal operation drift will be reverse operation and also electric field is like here you can see depletion region is formed the positive positive indicate with higher volt higher potential then negative with lower potential so this is the this is the electric field form or voltage or electric field form so in this direction so you can see electrons direction holes direction every time they are opposite you can see and it's also opposite to and it is also different from the electric field so simple way you can conclude is electrons and holes will never move in the same direction of the electric in the electric field so option a is wrong choice then come to option b this is also wrong how i'll explain electric field density is equal to sum of electric field intensity and polarization first of all you can see you can add similar to similar quantities together intensity and polarization they are not dissimilar and it is not equal to density density and intensity they will never equal okay by checking the dimensionality also you can eliminate this option see density is not equal to intensity plus something because these two are not having same units you can say like 10 kg of something is nothing but 5 kg plus 5 kgs the unit should match this this and this all these three units should be same but here all these three units are different so you can conclude that the option b is a wrong choice then come to option c option c states that ampere circuital law states that the line integral of h means h line integral over a closed path means closed line integral is equal to direct current enclosed by that part means h dl line integral is how much mu naught into i so let us see that okay so right option c is the right choice i'll tell you the proof for it okay let us see the proof of it okay you can see here the line integral of BDL or HDL whatever for a closed path is equal to for a closed path one second yeah. the line integral of BDL over a closed path is equal to mu naught times the net current through threading through the area bounded by the curve this is a simple way to I will explain you this in a simple way so what we need to prove is the line integral over a closed path of BDL is, is equal to mu naught into I some constant times the total current enclosed by that curve okay let us see the proof the, let us consider the left hand side b dot dl line integral what is dot product a dot b cos theta similarly b dot dl cos theta the angle between b and dl they are in the same direction you can look at this figure see dl and b they are in moving in the same way so in then the angle between them is zero so it becomes b dl simple then b is a uniform magnetic field i have taken so b i'll take it out then dl the for total line integration over a circle will become how much 2 pi r the circumference nothing but circumference so b into 2 pi r 
in general what is the magnetic field due to a circular coil it's nothing but mu naught i by 2 pi r so mu naught i by 2 pi r into 2 pi r so finally you left with mu naught i so in this way you can prove this the line integral bdl over a closed curve is equal to mu naught times the net current thro flowing through that curve you can see the option once again ampere this is called ampere circuit law ampere circuit law states that the line integral of h or b some people say b because b, h, uh, b is nothing but mu times h about any closure path is exactly equal to the the current enclosed by that path yeah we can prove this so what we got just now is this is b okay what we got just now is we have proved something what is that b dl b dot dl is nothing but mu naught times i but what is b b is nothing but mu naught into h so you can replace that line integral mu naught h dot dl is equal to mu naught i so mu naught mu naught get cancelled so what you will get is line integral h dl dot product is nothing but total current enclosed simple so same thing is explaining ampere circular states that line integral of h about any closed path is equal to direct current no mu naught is there okay it is cancelled so in this way option c is the right choice this is the end of this question and let us see some extension before we go for end of this question just try to memorize the uh, maxwell equations okay uh, the four maxwell equations they are very very important they may ask in the exam okay just rem you already know just go through i have given this so remember all those four equations first one indicates the ampere circuit law sorry ampere's law second one faraday's law third one is gauss law fourth one is gauss law for magnetism or non-existence of monopole so try to remember the law names in point form and integral form try to memorize okay so let us uh, end this question so if you have any queries post them in the comment box and subscribe the channel for getting more updates thank you